Hi there. Uh, in this video, we'll be learning about <coughs> loan payments for an auto loan, or really this would apply to any loan payments uh, for fixed installment loans. So the formula that we use to calculate loan, pay loan payments, and I, I want to use PMT uh, to represent the payments, and the reason is this formula involves uh, a symbol for principal, and for that we're using a capital P. So this would be the monthly or uh, periodic payment, and P is the principal. Usually this is the, uh, the initial amount of the loan. So to calculate your monthly or periodic payment, you'll take your principal and multiply that by the quotient of the interest rate and the number of payments that you're making uh, uh, for each period, uh, well, for each, um, usually for each year, and in the denominator here we have 1 minus and then 1 plus again we see this r over n and then there's an exponent for this amount that's in parentheses it's negative n t so t is uh, the time uh, usually in years for the loan and n is usually the uh, number of payments uh, per unit of T. And so I would say you know, for any auto loan that I've seen, N is, I'm going to just say usually 12, uh, that you would make monthly payments, so 12 times a year. Uh, so R is the interest rate. And usually we'll express this as a decimal. Uh, let's see, P is the principal or the um, initial loan amount. And I think those are all the pieces that we need here. So let me just uh, show you an example of how this would work. Let's say that you wanted to purchase a car and it is $30,000 and um, you're interested in taking out a four-year loan and the interest rate that you find is 8%. So what would the monthly payment be? So to figure that out, I'll take the principal, which is the 30,000, multiply it by the rate over the number of payments per time period. So uh, the rate is 8%, so that's 0 0.08. There are 12 payments in the year, and this is over one minus, one plus, 0 0.08 over 12 again. And then this is key, it's minus n times t. So this is a four-year loan. Uh, four years, 12 payments a year. n times t is 48. Oftentimes with an auto loan, uh, the terms are stated in terms of the number of, of months, the total number of months. So usually you would take out like a, a 36, a 48, a 60, or even a 72-month loan. And so that's the amount that we're seeing in the uh, exponent position here. So let's do the calculation. Okay, so here's my calculator on clear. Uh, I'm going to take 0 0.08 and divide that by 12 and multiply that by 30,000. So I like to do this in pieces. So the first step is to get the numerator there. It's 200. And then in the denominator, I have uh, 0 0.08 divided by 12 plus 1. And that's all raised to a power of negative 48. Don't forget that negative. It's really important. You'll get crazy answers if you leave that off. Um, and then it's 1 minus that result. And so I need to take 200 and divide it by that answer. And so uh, the result here is $732.39. Uh, so this denominator, if you want to just make a note, it was 0 0.7, uh, 2731. Uh, if you are using this process like I did, where you divide it up into pieces, um, I would recommend keeping about four decimal places until the very end. And then, you know, if you're doing a homework assignment, follow the instructions. Uh, so I've seen in some homeworks where it says round to the nearest dollar, and so you might just say 732. Uh, now, with this information, what would be the total of payments? Well, if we're making payments of $732 a month, 
and we're doing that for four years, we would take 732 times 48, 732 times 48, and we'd be making a total of $35,136 in payments. Now, the principal uh, for our loan was $30,000. So the difference between these two amounts, namely the 5136 that is all interest on the loan over the course of the loan. So uh, over $5,000. Let's uh, do another example. Uh, in this case, let's uh, compare two loans. So in the, let's say you want to buy a car that's $40,000. And we have two loan options, loan A and loan B. And loan A is a three-year loan with 6.1% uh, interest. And option B, I don't know why I wrote A again, Option B is a five-year loan, but with a higher interest rate, 7.2%. So how do these compare overall, in both in terms of the monthly payment and then the total interest that we'll pay over the course of the loan? So let's do loan A first. So I need to take the principal, which is $40,000, times R over N. So R is 0 0.061 over 12, 1 minus, 1 plus, 0 0.061 over 12 to the negative. Now, N times T, this is a three-year loan, so that's a 36-month. So, uh, 0 0.061 divided by 12 times 40,000. This is 203, and with a repeating decimal, and then 0 0.061 divided by 12 plus 1, raised to a negative 36, and then one minus that. So this is 0.1668. Uh, so I'll say 203.3 divided by that answer, and the payment is $1,200. I'm going to just round this to the nearest dollar and say that that's $19. Now, if I take 1,219 1, times 36, that'd be the total of my payments, um, and that would give me 43,884. Now, the loan amount was 40,000, so the interest is the difference. In other words, the $3,884. And now let's look at loan B. Uh, I'm still gonna have 40,000. This time the interest rate is 7.2, so 0 0.072 over 12. And then I have 1 minus, 1 plus, 0 0.072 over 12. This is a five-year loan, so that's 60 months. Now, 0 0.072 divided by 12 times 40,000. This is 240. And if I take... 0 0.072 divided by 12, add 1, and raise that to the negative 60. Wait, hold on. Uh, 0 0.072 divided by 12 plus 1, raised to negative 60, and then 1 minus that answer. This is 0 0.3016, but I'm just going to take 240 divided by that result, and this is seven hundred and ninety six dollars so seven ninety six times this is a sixty month loan and I'll be paying forty seven thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars so the interest is seven thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars so about almost twice as well yeah not quite but about twice as much interest uh, with loan B now my payments are less uh, but I'm making more of them. In fact, uh, two years more, uh, so 24 months. So I take a higher payment, uh, but the end result is l less interest, or a lower payment, but I end up paying a lot more interest. So that's a way to compare uh, two different loans. So uh, in the next video, I'll just show you some more examples. Uh, I hope you join me.